Hi, Lacamas Leopards. Welcome to this month's character assembly. In this month's character assembly, we are going to do a few things. First, I can't wait to celebrate last month's character award winners for courage. Last month, we talked about courage and how courage doesn't mean we're not afraid. In fact, courage means that we push through and we persevere. We talked about how courage you take small steps and that you have that success and that when you have a success and a small step, it gives you the courage to keep going and take bigger steps. So I'm excited to celebrate this month's Character Award winners for courage. Those students who were recognized by their teachers for showing courage in small ways and maybe some big ways. This month, our character trait is kindness. Now, the month of February, I'm excited for Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day. Now, it's going to look different for us here at Lacamas because we cannot bring Valentine's from one home to go home to another home. But don't worry, your teachers are going to think of unique ways that we can still celebrate Valentine's Day. But I want us to expand that. And for this whole month, our character trait is kindness. And I want us to really think about ways that we can be kind and show kindness. I have a little book that I would like to read to you, just a few pages. It's called A Little Spot of Kindness. My name is Spot. And I'm not just an ordinary spot. I'm a little spot of kindness. I've never seen a spot of kindness before. What is a spot of kindness? Well, let's find out. A spot of kindness has a sticky back. And the reason my back is sticky is so that I can help kindness stick to you. Whoa. I come in so many colors because the easier I can be spotted, the easier it will be to remind you to be kind. All those fun spots. Now, did you know that every time you are kind, a layer of happiness is added to your heart and to the hearts of others? And since you both have the power to make good choices, you can start making the choice to be kind. I'm going to start, stop reading right there because that's my challenge for you this month. We're not going to just celebrate on Valentine's Day and being kind to each other. We are going to be intentional about kindness for the whole month of February. Spot, he said that kindness adds a layer of happiness to your heart, my own. When I'm kind to others, it adds a layer of happiness to me and to the hearts of others. So this month, I have a challenge for your class. My challenge is let's spread some kindness. Now I reached out to a friend of mine. Her name is Olivia Eagle. Now Olivia, she runs JWR, but she also helps coordinate a bunch of resources for families within our community. I reached out to Olivia and I said, Olivia, we need a challenge because this month at Lacmas it's Kindness Month. And I'd really love a challenge for us. How could we support? She took a little while to think about it and she got back to me. And so here's our challenge, Lacmas, our kindness challenge. She said, hey, Julie, Mrs. Mueller, our treasure house and backpack food program, they could really use some support. In fact, if your kids could bring in some food and non-perishable supplies, it would really help families in our school system here in Camas. And she said, and you know what else? It'd be really great if even maybe they did some special Valentine's treats that would go home and spread that kindness through maybe a special Valentine's. So kids, that's your challenge. Teachers, this is your challenge. Let's spread kindness 
Let's build on those layers in our heart and the hearts of others. By this month, we are going to bring in, per your class, non-perishable items for our treasure house in the backpack program. I'm excited to see how our kindness grows. When we take that heart and we add those layers, our heart's going to grow because of the kindness that we're giving. And I know we're gonna make an impact in our community. So this month, our character trait is kindness. The rest of our assembly, you're gonna have a mystery staff. We're gonna draw for our spotches. So keep up that good work with your spotches and enjoy those that classes, it's a challenge. So teachers, how will you help support your kids as we support our treasure house and our backpack program this month? And let's spread some kindness. During the month of January, our school focus has been on the character trait of courage. And as we've been learning, there are several ways that we can practice being courageous every day. We show courage when we remember to use our growth mindset and to keep trying even after we failed. It's courageous to persevere until you finally get it. We show courage when we climb to the top of the space ball. We show courage when we recognize that one of our classmates doesn't have someone to play with and we invite them to join us in our game. We show courage when we come back to school after a long break and get back into our school routines. These students have worked extra hard this month on the character trait of courage in kindergarten, Clara, Bandon, Marco, and Sylvie. In first grade, Eric, Mercy, Melody, Vincent, Blue, and Ava. In second grade, Elise, Robbie, Addison, Eliana, Ezra, and Samuel. In third grade, Jackson, Haley, Kira, Henry, Landon, and Hunter. And in fourth grade, Evander, Macy, Colby, Addison, Brittany, Ava, and Trevor. Fifth grade, Stiv, Caleb, Ethan, Anna, Katie, and Liam. Excellent job, Leopards. Keep up the great work. Hi, Lacamas Leopards. It's Mrs. Norgard here with the February's Spotcha Drawing. Don't you just love February? It's full of flowers, hearts, chocolates. It's one of my favorite months. <clears throat> and I'm excited to spread the love at Lacamas. <clears throat> so I have a bunch of spotches here. Oh my goodness, there's so many. And I am going to start drawing. And I hope, I hope I draw your name. Okay, keep being safe, respectful, responsible, working hard on your academics, showing perseverance, showing kindness, showing courage, all those things that we're looking for. So here we go. Our first winner is Itzel Lopez in room 223. Kaido Fabian in room 104. Kathleen Loha in room 104. Ooh, lucky room 104. Hayden Grenier in room 123. Nice job. 
Allie Libby in Rim 225. Charlotte Redmond in Mrs. Woodson's room. Paxton Atkinson in room 225. This is fun. Luna Munoz Oka in room 102. Is that another one? That was 104. Nice job, you guys. Way to go. Okay, here's. Esri Spiker in room 133. Uh, Cash Gilbert in room 102. Emma Spence in room 132. And Camilla Ryback in room 231. I might have pulled more than 10. Don't tell. It's okay, right? Anyway, you guys, keep up the great work. If I drew your name, you can look for a special treat um, coming your way. So congratulations, and maybe I'll pull your name next time. is photography motto or their <laughs> their motto in life is keep smiling laugh hard often and try to be as positive as a person as they can they taught themselves how to use a camera 10 years ago after a couple of years shooting and an international award they started their own business they love Mexican food? Mexican food and chip and dip. One spent a year attending college in central Mexico. Their love for spicy foods and taking beautiful photos started there in a small town called Guanajuato. Lacamas Elementary. This is Mrs. Olson. I teach third grade. This is my best friend, Bo. And I know that we're talking about friendship. And I just wanted to let you know how much friendships mean to me. There's kind of a song that comes to my mind that my mom used to teach me. It goes a little something like this. Make new friends and keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. This is what that song means. It means you're gonna be making new friends, you're coming back into school, a lot of you haven't seen each other for a while. You're going to see old friends and you're gonna make new friends. And that's a really important thing to be able to do because all friends are welcome in our lives. Thank you for letting me talk to you this time, and I just wanted to show you my best friend.